What's up guys, Viminal here back at it again with another video and this is going to be a very special one because this is my comprehensive performance guide for increasing FPS in all your games. Not just Apex Legends, but for this video, we're going to be focusing on Apex Legends because it's my favorite game of all time and y'all know that. So without further ado, let's get right into step one. Now this is very important especially if you have a high refresh rate monitor, if you have a 144 hertz monitor, 240 hertz monitor, because Windows doesn't automatically set your refresh rate to the highest possible refresh rate that your monitor is capable of handling. So the first thing you have to do before we do anything else is go right click and click on display. And then this window is gonna pop up here. Select your primary display, your high refresh rate monitor Scroll down and click on advanced display settings. And this is gonna come up, select your display, in, the, in which case this is the Zowie XL LCD and display adapter properties for display two. And this video is gonna come up here and you're gonna click on the monitor tab. Looking down, you're gonna see a screen refresh rate option and select it to the maximum, which is 240 Hertz. And then click apply, okay, all right. So the next step is going to NVIDIA control panel. So right click NVIDIA control panel, and this is gonna come up here. Use my preference emphasizing performance over here. Very important, manage 3D settings. Under global settings, uh, I'm gonna run you through quickly my settings over here. This is all de uh, default right here. And then scrolling down, we got a few options that are very important. Um, Maximum pre-rendered frames use 3D application setting. OpenGL auto select power management mode prefer maximum performance, right? By default, it's on optimal power and you don't want that. Power management mode, maximum performance. Texture filtering quality, set it to high performance. All right, and then uh, virtual reality pre-rendered frames one and everything else on default. So right here, the most important uh, settings are power management mode and texture filtering quality. So next, another important thing when it comes to Windows 10, and this dramatically increased my FPS, probably around 10 to 20%, especially when streaming. So first thing you gotta do is go to Windows performance options. You go, you go to Windows performance options by going to the start uh, select bar, typing in performance options, and this, vin this window is going to come up. You're going to want to put visual effects and click on adjust for best performance. In, in this case, I have it set to custom. So I'm going to click adjust for best performance, right? And that's gonna do that. So now that you've set Windows performance options, you will notice a dramatic increase in overall performance of Windows, you know, and um, you know things are going to be snappier. Also, your game, your games will run smoother. Go into Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, and then Power Options. And then this is going to come up. You're going to want to choose or, or customize a power plant. Now you don't have to do anything here. All you have to do is click High Performance. Now what this does is that it runs your CPU, GPU, and uh, provides enough power for your system to run at maximum performance at all times. And high performance before you play your games. And uh, this is uh, this is good practice and you gotta make sure this is on. All right, next step is to make sure Windows Game Bar is turned off. By default, it's turned on, but you have to turn it off it takes system resources and for some reason it you know it messes with the compatibility of a lot of games so game bar turn it off captures everything off game mode very important game mode turn it off for some reason uh, in a previous Windows update game mode was automatically on without a lot of people knowing and what it did was it really hindered performance in a lot of games. So game mode, turn it off. And then next, navigate to your Apex Legends exe file. Right click properties and this video is going to come up. Go to compatibility tab and then 
looking down, click on Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Moving on to Origin. This is going to come up here, Application Settings, and then you're going to want to turn off Origin In-Game. By default, it's turned on. Enable Origin In-Game is, is uh, defaulted to on, but turn it off because I noticed when I was streaming, especially when I turned Origin In-Game off, I was using less system resources, so it, it increased my FPS as well. So turn Origin In-Game off. Now, the next step. When you are playing a game, you probably are using... You probably are using... Now, the next step. When you are playing a game, you probably are using a browser or Google Chrome open in the background. Now, very important especially if you have multiple refresh rate monitors, you know, uh, different monitors with different refresh rates. You're gonna want to do this step. Navigate to settings, Chrome slash slash settings, or you can navigate through here and then right click settings and this is gonna come up. This is gonna come up right here. So you're gonna scroll down all the way down until you get to system right and then there's an option here that says use hardware acceleration when available you have to turn off hardware acceleration because it uses GPU resources for Chrome now you have to turn this off this turns off GPU acceleration and then to make sure it's off type in Chrome slash slash GPU and then <clears throat> you're gonna you're gonna see everything hardware acceleration disabled blah 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 so that's all you have to do for Chrome the next step is going to discord clicking on settings navigating to the appearance tab and this is gonna pop up right here scroll down all the way down to advanced mode and turn off hardware acceleration same principle applies it uses your GPU so just turn it off if you want the maximum performance you have to do these steps moving on to the next step which is also very important and will drastically affect the performance of your game you're going to see users your username save games respawn apex local and you're gonna see these files if you don't have an AutoXX CFG file in your folder, you have to make a CFG AutoXX file. And there are tons of tutorials online on how to do it. It's a separate video, so I'm not going to include the tutorial in this video. But you have to create your own AutoXX file and basically uh, plug in these settings. All of my settings here are designed to increase FPS. Now all of these settings are legal. It doesn't remove muzzle flash. It doesn't really mess with the visual fidelity all that much. And it, uh, it doesn't remove smoke and it doesn't really mess with anything. These are all legal and a lot of players use this auto exact file to increase FPS to basically just optimize the game further. Now, I will leave my auto exact file in the comment section so you can just copy paste it into your own auto exact file. Now moving on to videoconfig.txt. If you notice, these are the in-game vi video settings. These are the graphic settings in-game and these change according to what the in-game graphic settings are. Now, you're gonna want to navigate down and find this setting, setting our LOD switch scale. This is model detail in-game in the game options. Now, if you notice, if you try changing the model detail setting in Apex, it defaults to high and you can't change it. If you want to set it to low, you have to put this value, 0 0.350000. So input this in between these quotation marks and file, save. And then that's it. 
So these are my config files for Apex, and I will leave the autoexec file in the comment section if you want to copy paste it. If you don't want to mess with autoexec, uh, despite it being completely fine, it's op uh, it's optional and you can just leave it. Now going to my launch options for Apex, game properties, advanced launch options, you have to input these. The, this command line. You have to input this command line. Plus exec auto exec plus cl underscore show fps4. It's gonna put on an fps counter in game. Dash full screen. It's gonna run your game in full screen mode. And force no vsync. Vsync, as you know, introduces input lag and you wanna turn it off. And you wanna make sure it's off. So just put in force no vsync. Freak. 240. Now this is relative to your monitor's refresh rate. I'm running a 240 hertz monitor, so I put 240 after freak. And then FPS max, I set my maximum limit to 300. So there's headroom above 240, and the game runs around 200, 240 frames. So I, I want to have that headroom, but I don't want too much headroom because I don't want to spend too much resources in running the game if I don't need it. So I cap the FPS, and this is very important to cap the FPS to your preferred FPS cap, in which case mine is 300, and then just click save. Now, moving on to the game itself. Now you're gonna wanna go to settings, right? And then move on to video. Display mode is full screen. Aspect ratio is 16 by 9, obviously. Resolution is set to native. Field of view. This doesn't really affect performance all that much, and this is all preference. I set mine to 104. Sprint E Shake set it to minimal. And uh, V Sync is disabled. Adaptive resolution FPS target should be 0. Anti aliasing should be set to none. Texture streaming budget should be the should be set none and at, at maximum just set it to very low to get by gear. I noticed that setting it to insane and setting it to very low has very little visual impact but impacts your FPS. So it, I set mine to 2 gigabyte gear. Texture filtering by linear. Everything else is set to low and disabled. And now you can see model detail is set to low. So these are my graphic settings for Apex. Feel free to take a screenshot or just set everything to disable to low. Texture streaming budget, set it to very low, right? And this, I feel, doesn't really change how the game looks all that much, but it really drastically increases your performance. So I can't really understand. All right, so we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Viminal, and I hope all these tips will help you improve your gameplay, make you play better. And remember, guys, frames win games.